downright crazy. Well, we start today, though, here at the Medeski Stadium as Reading take on Bristol City. The Royals slipped out of the playoff places after defeat to Hull last week, while for City, three wins out of four, and they're very much upwardly mobile under manager Derek McInnes. Reading's Russian revolution is off to a winning start, although Bristol City gave them a real run for their money. With top scorer Nicky Maynard left out once again, Chris Wood was left to lead the City attack. Adam Federici had to be sharp to deny him his second goal in a week. Reading have been climbing steadily in recent weeks. Five wins from their previous seven league games have put them on the fringes of the top six. David James needed to be at his best to deny Mikel Antonio before the City defence eventually smuggled the ball to safety. City were bidding for their fourth win in five matches, but almost came unstuck when Antonio was sent clear down the right. Noel Hunt found the gap between two defenders, but failed to make the right connection. Down the other end, Derek McInnes' side almost went to the break on top. Albert Adoma's terrific overhead kick had Federici at full stretch to keep the scores level. But just before the hour, Reading made the breakthrough, courtesy of new signing Jason Roberts. Lewis Carey bringing the former Blackburn striker down in his debut, penalty given. That left the Travellers in big trouble as Carey saw red. And Roberts, who once had a loan spell with Bristol Rovers, steadied himself from 12 yards and got lucky. Reading now on course for the win that would move them into the playoff places. But City under Derek McInnes are made of sterner stuff these days and refused to go quietly. This time Federici couldn't get near Adoma's effort, but the woodwork came to his rescue. Reading weren't quite home and hose just yet, although when another debutant, Thomas Sifka, hit the deck, victory should have been sealed. This time Joby McEnough took the responsibility from the spot, but James did brilliantly to keep him off the score sheet. In fact, the veteran keeper was called into action right at the death. McEnough once again had him at full stretch, but that made little difference to the outcome as Reading climbed to fourth. Well, let's hear from the winning Reading manager, Brian McDermott. Brian, eight wins from 11. Very well done. You're in a rich vein of form at the minute. Yeah, you know, the results-wise, we're absolutely delighted. You know, I think, you know, we can play better. It was a tough, tough game today. You know, they've got good players and, and their manager's done a fantastic job at, at Bristol. So, um, the most important thing today was to win. The game was here to be won. I thought both teams um, had opportunities in the first half and uh, certainly we possibly could have had the better of those. But we came and imposed ourselves in the game. It's a difficult venue and, uh, you know, Redden are a good side. They, they, they get the ball forward early. They, they put a lot of crosses into the box early for the front two and, you know, they can get you on the back foot. But I thought at times we looked organised, disciplined and stood up to that and we created a few opportunities ourselves. You know, it, it was a good game. You've done so well on limited resources of late, so suddenly money comes your way pending the rubber stamp in March, of course, uh, then the expectation levels are going to soar, aren't they? Hey, listen, I've got no money, uh, no problem at all about having money. You know, I've never had that opportunity, so to take to have that opportunity for me is uh, is fantastic, and it's going to help the club, going to help the uh, uh, the players. We brought in Jason Roberts and Thomas Schiffko, and you saw what uh, Jason added to the team today. It just brings a real presence about him. I'm absolutely delighted, and you know, you could, uh, I'd have to thank the owner, Anton. No Nicky Maynard for the second game running. Um, what is your gut instinct about his future at the club? Oh, who knows? I mean, between now and Tuesday, if somebody comes in, and uh, it's not my decision, it's somebody's got to be in a position to, to pay the fee that the club's looking for. The club have then got to accept it, and then Nicky's got to go. So there's a lot of factors to decide whether Nicky's going to be um, not our player between now and the end of the season. And while well, he still is a player, I mean, last week he was left out, but I felt just in, totally in football reason because. Um, we had a disappointing performance at Brighton and uh, Chris Wood played and Chris scored so Chris kept the jersey for today and, and it was totally a football decision, I've explained that to Nicky and uh, as long as Nicky is, is um, reacting the right way to being left out, his training this week was terrific and that's why he's involved again today. Well in the end it was a good result for Reading and that result means they stay on the coattails of Southampton, West Ham and Cardiff. Now there was one other game taken.